What's good, yo? This is your boy Tony Sway. Yeah, it's been a minute since I shot a little video for you guys, and I want to talk a little bit today about procrastination and how procrastination is the last thing you want to do when you're going for this career in being in the music business, whether it's trying to be a singer, a songwriter, producer, engineer. Um, I'm talking to you guys specifically because that's the kind of people that follow this page is inspiring musicians and people who are, who are interested in music. Um, <clears throat> and this can apply to other kind of careers as well, but this is specifically for my music people. The last thing you want to do is procrastinate. So no matter where you're at with your goals and becoming a musician um, or becoming somebody in the music business, you do not want to procrastinate and let's not confuse procrastination with strategizing or planning because you definitely want to strategize and you definitely want to plan but if you're taking too much time doing those things without any kind of movement that actually becomes procrastination so when you strategize you need to do it with a set time in mind um, and that's just the way it is because time is money, money is time. You know, we're only here for so long. So you got to do something even if you don't know if it's the right thing or not. Um, so I'm talking to you. If you're just starting out, this is really aimed at anybody, but especially people who are new, who are just sitting there. And maybe, maybe you have some songs on your hard drive, but you're scared to show people. Are you scared to upload it? Don't procrastinate. Get it, you know. Get a group of people in your in your real life, some friend, uh, some friends, people who are gonna keep it real with you. Ask them what do you what they think about your songs and what you could work on. And if you don't have that, you're gonna definitely need to upload it online, anyways. And people who don't know you are gonna give you most of the time their real feedback, and they're gonna say, "Hey, this is kind of little." off on this or need to work on this so you're gonna get that feedback in a perfect world you know in a perfect world maybe a label would sign you and give you some kind of artist treatment and our artist development deal but anybody who's involved in the music music industry these days knows that that kind of stuff is almost extinct now and a lot of labels and such are looking for people who already have an established following on sites like YouTube, Instagram, you know, Facebook, places that they they already know that they're investing their money in something that has a low risk. So if if they sign Joe Blow for that has 10 million followers, there's a high chance that they're going to be able to sell and sell and get and get views, add money and and uh, streams and sales and merch and and concerts. They they know that they they can capitalize on that from somebody that already has millions of followers, right? That's just really a no-brainer. But for the people who are just starting out, you guys, you have to do something even if it's the wrong thing even if you upload a song and it's not your best you gotta try you gotta get that feedback feedback and maybe the song or songs you have are amazing you just don't know because you're scared I mean I just got emailed the other day from somebody who sent me something as if though it wasn't even gonna be that good and they seem very shy and once they sent it to me my mind was literally blown on how amazing it sounded it sounded like that I was listening to you know, a top songwriter in the industry. And I was like, yo, you gotta put this stuff out. You gotta start releasing it. And they're, you know, they're just wondering if they're good enough. And, you know, probably because maybe they haven't shown enough people. But, you know, in my opinion, they were amazing. It was better than a lot of stuff that I hear that's out there that's on the charts right now. So, you know, a lot of times you have stuff that might be golden and you don't even know it because you haven't gave it you haven't gave it a chance to even shine. So give yourself that chance to shine. Stop procrastinating on your goals. Now, if you're somebody who has been already putting effort, maybe you're releasing music, maybe you're uh, submitting songs to people, maybe you're trying to get your beats out there, and maybe it's not working, 
keep trying, keep trying to tweak your strategies and then go, go again, go again and try to surround yourself with other people that are like minded or maybe possibly doing better than you reach, you know, reach out, get advice from people. I mean, you know, I always tell people, feel free to hit me up as long as your message is not too wacky. I really will give you feedback on, on, on your specific needs. Uh, you know, TonySway1 at gmail.com. I don't mind. I love giving people feedback um, as long as the message is not too crazy. And, you know, I love hearing from you guys. And uh, so, again, I just want to encourage you guys to not procrastinate. Dreams can come true and they do come true. Um, take action towards your goals today, no matter where you're at. You know, if you're a beginner, maybe you've been doing this for a while and you just got kind of stagnant, you need to reevaluate what you, what you really love doing and you need, you need to be in love with this because this, this is not a job, this is a passion. This is a passion. You know, look at people like Prince and artists like that who they never had a job in their whole life, you know what I mean? They just did music and they never even really considered it a job because to them living was about expressing and so when you do something like this, you got to be able to express, you got to try things. In art, everybody's not always going to understand your art. And that, that's because art's art. Some people will get it, some people won't get it. But do something, don't procrastinate. Keep tweaking your strategies. If you're already trying things and it's, and it's not going your way, keep, tweak, um, keep tweaking, keep learning, keep digging, keep searching. And, you know, even if you're not a religious person, you can understand that you're going to have to have faith in what you're doing. Because if you don't have faith in it, you're probably going to procrastinate and take no action. But guess what? When people believe in what they're doing and they believe it's possible, they actually start doing things. They start writing songs. They start uploading stuff. They start releasing their, their albums on iTunes. They start putting together music videos even if it's even if it's not the best they just do something and those people become happy because they're making progress and if you're making progress you're gonna be a lot happier than the per than if you're not making progress so remember that if you're making progress you're gonna be a lot more happier than if you're not making any progress a lot of this stuff is simple but a lot we all sometimes hold ourselves back with limited thinking and saying, oh, we can't do it, we can't do this. And you know, you'll become you become miserable, miserable because you're not living from your heart. You know, so don't procrastinate, people. Don't procrastinate. Take actions today. I love y'all. God bless. It's your boy Tony Sway. Got new music coming in the new year. Um, I also have an uh, album dropping in December on iTunes, which is just my own songs as an artist. Because I haven't stopped being an artist, I still love making my songs climaxes 12 million plus plays now on youtube so thank you guys i want to encourage you guys to go for your goals i want to hear your success stories i love y'all peace